Hey, today I will be showing you how basically a complete guide on gaming and streaming with two different internet connections. Uh, the first thing you should do if you have two internet connections that you use on your uh, computer is you should rename them so that way you can distinguish which one is which. Um, so to do that, go to your control panel and then go to network and internet network and sharing center and then change adapter settings and you can right click your different ones and uh rename them so you know which one is which uh so an easy way to do that is to go to task manager on windows 11 you can just hit Control shift escape which is why i just did or if you're on windows 10 you can right click on your taskbar and then click on task manager and uh, it will show you all of your active internet connections right here. You can just start a download, compare the download speeds, see which one is which. Um, this will also give you your IPv4 address uh, for the two different ones, which is something we will need uh, if you are using Forcebind IP, which is the next program I'm going to show you. So if you're playing a game... And, uh, you know, you want it to use one internet connection, but it keeps bouncing between the two. That's kind of the issue that I had. I started to use Forcebind IP to uh, make Overwatch, which is my main game, uh, only use one IP address. So uh, if you want an easy program to use, if you're not comfortable with command line or anything, you can uh, use this, which I will have the download link in the description for uh, but basically what you do is you go to Task Manager and you grab, so this is my DSL connection. This is slow, but really consistent. So you take that IPv4 address and you type it in the IP address. And then for the app path, you just click on browse and mine is already here. But like if you're back here, you just go, you need to navigate to where your game is installed at. There we go. Yeah, I was. So <laughs> once you finally find your .exe, I just click on open, type your IP address there. You can give your profile name, save profile, click on it, and then launch Forcebind IP. Uh, that should launch your game, and uh, it should only use the internet connection with the IP uh, v4 address that you gave from here. Uh, personally, I think launching this program is a little bit uh, just going through. That's way too many steps. So I just go here and uh, I have just a script. Uh, I'll get to this in a second. But if you just type force bind IP and then the dash I is optional, uh, you might need it for some games. So if a game doesn't work and it bounces between the Internet connections and uh, try putting the dash I there. Uh, pretend this is the IPv4 address. We'll get there in a second. And then just the uh, path to your executable. And then you double click that. Uh, make sure it's a .bat file. And then double click it, run it, it'll go. Uh, it should work. Um, from this download, if you want to use the command line like that, run the force bind IP setup. It's like two clicks and then it's done. And then take these two files and copy them and then go to your C drive and then go to Windows and then System32 and just paste them in here. Right? That's I think that's the right. Uh, I think that is the right one, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, System32. Just drop them in System32. You'll need admin permissions. Uh, it's fine. It's not going to harm your system at all. But that just makes it so you can run batch files, uh, script files like that, rather than going through the GUI program, which it up to you. It does the same thing. So uh, let's say you're playing a game like Sea of Thieves or game on the Windows Store or just force bind IP doesn't work or you can't access the EXE for some reason. Um, there is... Another way to force like all of the programs on your computer to use one network adapter, and that is messing with your uh, interface metrics. So back in your network connections uh, place, 
you can right click on the connection that you want like all your programs to use, go to properties, go to internet protocol four, so TCP IPv4, click on properties yet again, and then advanced, a lot of windows here, and then uncheck automatic metric and set your interface metric to one. Uh, basically Windows has this interface metric thing uh, for all of your different network adapters and it tells Windows which one to make programs use. And the lower the number, uh, the higher priority. So if you just set this to one, like all of the programs on your computer should be using that network adapter, which for me is my DSL. So it'll force um, it'll force your game to use that. But then you might be saying, oh, well, if I'm streaming, I needed to use this one. And now my streaming program is using that. Well, if uh, you're on OBS, just go to your settings and go to advanced and scroll down. And you can bind to IP here. You can just bind this to your other um, network adapter. And then your game and everything else will be using one. And you can stream with the other. And this is the best solution that I have found for me. Um, easiest always works. I haven't run into any problems with it yet. Uh, so basically, that's all you need to know. Um, now, if you have a dynamic, uh, dynamic IP, like if you move your computer around, disconnect from your main internet connection for a while, you might have a different IPv4 address, and um. So then your force bind IP scripts won't work anymore. And that's where this comes into play. So uh, to get this, this is basically instead of just binding to the IP address that that network adapter is on, it uh, binds the actual network adapter. So I will have this long uh, path in the description as well. But if you go to reg edit or your registry editor, go up here. Up here, paste that. Uh, under interfaces, you can look through here and look at all of these. And then find the one. You can see your domain name. So for this one, LAN, I know that's my satellite internet. That's fast, but uh, really bad for gaming. Um, so you can right-click this, rename. Don't change its name. Just copy the name. And then uh, in your force bind IP script, just take out your IPv4 address and put this here. Uh, I will say for some reason, I, uh, force bind IP doesn't work unless you go through and change all of these lower cases to uppercase. So go through, do that, make sure it's all the same. Uh, and then paste it there and it'll work. And that'll bind it to your uh to that network adapter uh that is really everything that i have found if anybody else has another program that lets you like switch what programs are using one internet connection on the fly that would be super useful i have not been able to find anything like that this is the best solution that i've come up with uh so yeah thanks for watching uh check me out on twitch <laughs> If you're interested, interested in any Overwatch gameplay, and I'll just talk to you later. So, a uh, little bonus tip for those of you that stayed to the end. I kind of realized I forgot to show something in here. So, if you use Forcebind IP GUI and you set up profiles, you can actually go into your profiles and then just go in. Just grab your Forcebind IP command right there. And then just copy and paste that into a, uh, if you just make a text document, you can just game start dot and then change this dot txt to dot bat yes to make it executable uh just copy that and then paste it into there save it exit and there's a uh, batch file that'll work again make sure that you have your force bind ip and that dll and system 32 for that to work but yep yeah.